Uh, so welcome back guys. My name is Amlan and in today's make much free campaign we try and solve a certain redmi issue. Now many redmi users have started complaining that their phone starts getting switched off automatically. So they are using the phone and the phone all of a sudden switches off. So turning on and off automatically if that's something that's happening to your phone as well. There are a few troubleshooting solutions that you can do. After researching a bit on the forums what I have seen is like you know if you actually remove the sim tray sometimes this can actually help so simply remove the sim tray and then basically try uh, booting up the phone just keep the power button pressed let the phone begin hopefully the phone will not uh, switch off now the phone should restart so fingers crossed let the phone uh, like restart once you see the redmi icon you can release the power button so once the phone restarts there you go the phone has restarted and uh, at this point of time what you can do is you can go ahead and put the sim tray back to the phone now one thing that i wanted to let you guys know is that sometimes this issue is quite possible because of software update happening so in such a situation it's always advisable to go ahead and check if there is a software update available and go ahead and do the update also in case you have downloaded some recent app go ahead and uninstall that app because sometimes certain app updates have been known to create conflicts with the operating os and as a result of which this thing may happen so anyways uh taking out the sim tray and again putting it back in sometimes helps fix the issue this is problem solution one Problem solution two is basically what you need to do is you need to tap the phone hard enough at the back, massage the phone a bit. So like you take it inside out from the bottom to the top, both back and at the front. Sometimes helps in getting any of the parts if they come loose, get back in shape. Now next what you need to do is hold the power button and the volume up button both together and keep them pressed until you see the redmi logo once you see the redmi logo you can release the buttons and let the booting process take place now here you can see that we have entered into the boot options and you use the basically the volume down and the volume up button to navigate don't use option 2 option 2 will erase all data from the phone so keep it selected on option 1 and use the power button to make the selection the next is reboot to system or back to main menu again using the volume buttons to navigate but i want to reboot to system basically i am saying that i want to start into the main system of the phone again use the power button to make the selection and you can see that the phone should start so this is solution two wherein basically are using the volume and the power up button to enter into a, a like phone reset so go ahead and do this hopefully doing option two should solve the case but before you do this do ensure that you give the form of firm tap both in the front and at the back and also do a slight massaging this is just so that any peripherals if they have come loose they will get fall uh, they will fall back in place now the third thing that i want you to try and do is like in case the phone is turning off continuously use the volume and the power down button both together keep it pressed and you will see that the phone enters into fast boot mode so once it enters into a fast boot mode what you need to do is just hold on to the power button and keep it pressed no need to do anything just hold on to the power button don't release it keep it pressed until you see the screen blanking out and the redmi icon showing so keep it pressed like this and you will see the redmi icon and then you can release it it will enter into the boot options and we have already seen what we need to do in case the boot options show up. Well, in this case, the boot option hasn't shown up and the phone has actually rebooted. So cool enough, if the boot options would have shown up, what you were required to do is like you would have uh, used the volume up and down buttons to navigate and use the power button to make a selection. Now, many cases people what uh, have like people have uh, said told me that like spamming the power button also works so in case the phone is turning off press the power button again let the phone turn on again it turns off again spam it again use the power button press the power button again and do it again and maybe after 
10th odd time you will see that it works and the phone doesn't again turn off automatically. Now in order to prevent the phone from turning off automatically what you are also required to do is like head towards the phone settings check for updates and if there is an update that's there go ahead and update the phone and hopefully this problem should not repeat. Now having said all of this it's quite possible that your phone has a damaged battery and in case there's a damaged battery and you see that the phone is uh, charged to say 90% and it goes to 1% or 2% in just say a couple of hours then there's a faulty battery you are required to take it to the store but more often than not this is a software issue the fast boot thing the phone turning off automatically it often happens because of app conflicts or OS updates not working well so it's advisable that you go ahead and like uninstall certain apps which you think you have installed recently post which you have seen this thing happening the phone turning off automatically and if you see the phone turning off automatically go ahead and do all the steps that I have told you one of which was like you know yeah, doing the taking the sim card tray out and then obviously using the volume and the volume up button and the power button to hard reset and then you know the other things also like I advised you can always uh, do the power and the volume down button also to enter into fast boot and then the power buttons to uh, make the phone reboot once the phone has rebooted go ahead and check for updates if there are updates if uh, update is available and you do the update hopefully this issue should not occur you can also enter into ultra saving mode and check whether that helps from the phone turning off automatically like said this is all advisable only if there's a software issue with the phone if there is a hardware issue like the battery getting compromised or something like that i will advise that you visit a nearby store and have the issue resorted so guys do all this and let me know if this thing is preventing your phone from turning off automatically if it does kindly subscribe and please do share this with your friends and family so that anybody going through a similar situation will be benefited from this tutorial until next time it's me amlan signing off